good day everyone uh, today we got a question from a student uh, asking that which grunt has to be used in bell's palsy or the facial palsy so bell's palsy mainly it is a lower motor neuron lesion of the facial nerve which results in the paralysis of the muscles it supplies so mostly talking about the grunt that could be used for the muscles we used galvanic or interrupted direct current and for nerve trunk we use faradic type current now why we use galvanic current because it is the only form of electric current which could be used on face and mainly it uh, preserves the bulk of the facial muscles and it prevents the atrophy until the reinnervation of the muscle completes no uh, and why we are not using faradic is because the use of faradic current on the face it can lead to the secondary contractures of the face the facial muscles they are very delicate and soft and usually the, uh, they are not able to tolerate the titanic type of contraction which is produced by the faradic type of current and that leads to the secondary contractures that is mainly the shortening it in the paralyzed muscles so it can lead to the secondary contractures of facial muscles so we use the galvanic or interrupted direct current for facial palsy and the faradic type current is not used the difference between the faradic and galvanic is already mentioned in one of the previous videos but also if we uh, see over here they are the short duration pulses faradic type current and the galvanic type current they are the long duration pulses the frequency for faradic is 50 to 100 hertz and galvanic is 15 to 30 contractions per minute and mainly they have a intensity of 0.01 to 1 millisecond and galvanic current have the intensity of more than 10 milliseconds up to 600 milliseconds and faradic type currents they are mostly used to stimulate the innervated muscles whereas the galvanic current it is used to stimulate the denervated muscles as well as for the electrodiag also the faradic current they when pass through the conductive paths they stimulate the motor points of the muscle and they can trigger a visible contraction whereas the galvanic current they use mild electric currents and those are consist of positive and negative ions so they stimulate the local muscles so mainly the galvanic current is uh, used to maintain the muscle physiology also in her question she asked about the parameters that could be used so we'll be using the interrupted direct current or the galvanic current which whose which will be having a frequency of 30 pulses per minute pulse duration will be more than 10 milliseconds and you can uh, adjust it on 10 milliseconds Uh, 30 milliseconds 100 milliseconds 300 milliseconds on your electrical stimulator and we can go up till the 600 milliseconds that is a large pulse uh, duration mostly we start with the uh, 100 milliseconds and amplitude the uh, we have to increase uh, up till we obtain the muscle contraction but we have to reduce it a bit so that to prevent the uh, burns and treatment time it depends on the uh, 15 to 20 minutes but if you are stimulating a individual motor point then it will vary according to the individual point thank you